Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple OVIEE analysis. We're going to turn this into a sectioned report. We'll also provide some prompting and then we'll do some conditional formatting as well. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're properly logged in. So you get to the login page and you provide your credentials that you were given by the administrator. Okay, so I'm just going to log in as user WebLogic with my password. And on the left hand side we have shortcuts to all sorts of things that we can access. We're going to create an analysis. So just click on that link right there. And then you'll be presented with the subject areas. Now the subject areas that show up are going to be dependent on how the administrator set this up. But what we have to work with here are two subject areas, sample sales light and samples target light. So I'm just going to click on this first one right here and you'll see that it says XML files sourced only. So the actual data is coming from XML files. Okay, so here we have different folders. So we have time, products, offices, orders, base facts, and calculated facts. And if you take a look at time, we can drag onto the screen the individual time elements such as year or half year, or if we want to place a time hierarchy, we can do that as well. We're going to start off with just the simple time elements such as per name year. So we drag that onto the page. Maybe I also want to find out the sales. Okay, so revenue. We can drag that onto the screen. At this point, if I just want to see the results, we click on our results tab and you'll see that here are the amounts for those years. Now let's assume that we want to add a little bit more data in here. So we go back to our criteria and we're also going to add in product information. Maybe we're interested in the product type. So we can drag that right there. By the way, you can drag and drop things. Uh, you know, if you wanted to uh, have products show up first and then time, you can flip flop them. It's completely up to you. I'm actually going to move time back. Okay, so now let's take a look at our results and you'll see that it's still just showing the years. And the reason why is what we're seeing here is our table view. When we initially drag things over and then look at the results, that's what's going to show up there by default. Even though we added extra criteria, it's not showing up here because we need to make a quick little change. So we hit this edit view. And if we, if we scroll down to the layout area, you'll see here that here are the columns and measures, so per name, year, and revenue. And notice that the product type is excluded. So all I need to do is drag that from there up to here and you see it automatically updates. Other things that you can do in here, you can organize your output by sections. So for example, if I want to, instead of having the year in this area right here, I can put this in the section report area. So I would drag my time, put it right into here, and you'll see that our output now looks like this. We have 2008, our product type and revenue. We scroll down a little bit. Now we have a section for 2009 and so on. So if we wanted to have more detailed information, I could go back to my criteria. Uh, yes, I want to keep the changes in this view editor. Maybe I want to get a little bit more detailed and actually put the product. Okay, so drag the product onto there. And of course we're going to now take a look at our results. And you can probably guess what the problem is. We need to just go into our table view here and edit our view and pull it from the excluded columns to the included columns. So here is our product right here. We can move it right there. Okay, this is looking a little nicer now, isn't it? Now let's make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to click on Done. And now we'll go to Criteria right here. 
Here's our revenue. What I'd like to do is format things really nicely so it shows the dollar sign and commas and decimal point where necessary. So we just go to the revenue right here and we go to the column properties then to the data format and we're going to override the default data format specifying currency. Currency symbol, United States dollar, negative format, we have several options here. Decimal places, we'll stick with the defaults. And just hit OK towards the bottom. And now we're looking good. So let's take a look at our results now. Okay, that is looking a little nicer. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a sectioned report. We can see 2008 and then 2009 and so on. You'll see also that uh, for accessories, we have two different products for accessories, but the word accessories is not repeated. That's one of the features that we can configure. If we wanted to, we could make this repeat. Um, other things that we can do, instead of automatically displaying all of the years in a section report format, maybe allow the end user to select the year from a dropdown. So once again, all we would need to do is edit our table. And you'll see that the year, per name year right here, is under the section area. All we need to do is move it to the table prompts area right there. Okay, so what did this buy us? Well, we now have a drop-down where we can select the appropriate year. Of course, there are other things that you can do to make this look nicer, like give it a more meaningful title and maybe display also the year in the title. Perhaps we want to highlight some of these fields if they're a particular number or higher. So for example, if we want to display anything that's above 120,000, well, how do we go about doing that? Well, let's go to the criteria area again. Okay, and here's our revenue. We're going to uh, go to the column properties, and you'll see here for a conditional format, we can add a condition. So we can say, you know what, if the revenue is greater than or equal to 150,000. Okay, we can even include presentation variables if we want to. We're not going to go there quite yet. What do we want to do? Well, we can make the background color be something that's really obvious. Maybe put that in red. Okay, so now that we have that set up, Let's run our results here, and you'll see that we have conditional formatting. So the last thing that I want to do is save my analysis. Okay, so I'm just going to click on here, Save Analysis, and I can place things under My Folders, or if I decide I want to maybe publish it later, um, I can put it under Shared Folders, either or. For right now, I'm just going to place it under My Folders. And I'm also going to create a directory under my folders called My Analyses. And in here, we'll call this Revenue by Product and Year. And now we're finished. So now we can make sure that it's in our catalog. So we hit the catalog, go to My Folders, My Analyses, and there it is. So if we want to run it, we click on Open. If we want to make modifications, we hit Edit. Okay, looking great. I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.